Thank you so very much for inviting me to speak. My name is Jonathan O'Toole, and I'm with Project C. And Project C is an acronym for Stop Exporting Evil. Stop Exporting Evil. And we are speaking directly to these people, these human devils, coming from my country, USA, and other Western countries, coming with millions of dollars, trying to force, feed, legalize baby murder, and other abominations on Kenya and on Africa. So we're telling them, stop exporting evil. And these liars are talking about safe abortion, but we know abortion is never safe, and it should never be safe to kill someone. It should never, never, never be safe to kill an innocent human being. It should be dangerous. It should be dangerous. I am a husband, of a native Kenyan woman. And as a husband and as a father of two native Kenyans, I march with you today and together with you, I say it should be, it should be dangerous for people to come from foreign empires, foreign lands, uh, lands which are in a moral disintegration with this neo-colonialism. And let me tell you, it is the worst form of neo-colonialism conceivable and come and infect Kenya and East Africa and Africa with this confusion, with this spirit of murder. God forbid. May God forbid. So we go to schools with these signs. You may have seen our signs. Uh, some of the people here in the crowd are holding these signs, which uh, Brother Rick Ellis, my good friend from Texas, has Donate, donated to us, showing a beautiful, innocent baby only seven weeks from conception. That is less than two months, less than two months from fertilization in the womb of a woman. 
And these signs which say, uh, they, is written on them, I am a person. I am a person. And let me tell you, let me tell you, those words are not an accident. Because we're serving a God, the great I am, the one who spoke with Moses from the burning bush, who was not ashamed to become a person in the womb of his holy mother. I stand with you today as an Orthodox Christian, and for those, for those of us who say we are Christians, we know that God himself was not ashamed to pass through all stages of human life, sanctifying all human life. In the words of uh, St. Irenaeus, Christ became an infant for infants, sanctifying infancy. I am a person. And so, for our Muslim and even Jewish friends, we all know, we all together, we agree that God is the creator of human life, who alone authorizes people to kill. God, God is the defender of the fatherless. So that's why I'm standing here before you today to proclaim with you that the preborn deserve the same defense as the born. The preborn deserve the same defense as the born. Let me say it again. The preborn deserve the same defense as the born. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God, we come before you in Jesus' name. We stand before you today. God, we thank you. We thank you for your gift of life. And we beg you, Father God, give us the courage. Give us the help we need to defend these preborn children made in your image, just as you have defended us, O Lord, when we had no defender. You, O God, you are our defender. Help us, O God, to defend them. Help us, God. Help us to open our mouths, as Solomon says in your word in Proverbs 31, verse 8. Help us to open our mouths for the dumb, for those who cannot speak for themselves, to judge righteously and to plead the cause of all such as are being appointed to destruction by these your enemies. God, help us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit of power, your spirit of truth. We thank you, O oh God. And we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Trinity, and we humbly ask for your divine power and divine intervention, without which we can do no good thing. We can't do anything good without you. In Jesus' name, God, help us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.